As a professional race driver, my focus is always on my sport. A sport in which I was able to celebrate success together with my team, but also a sport that will experience serious changes and will be steered in new directions by the initiated mobility and energy change. I consider myself lucky to be able to play an active role in this necessary change. For the mobility and energy transition to succeed, we must drive sustainability on all grounds, whether on the racetracks, in motorsports, or on the road. Right here at the Hyundai Motor Europe Technical Center, I'm about to meet a man who can give me both answers to my questions and the test drive of the Ionic 6. Hey, nice right? Yeah, nice to meet you. Sebastian, what place is this? What happens here? Our European Technical Center is a place where we test and develop our cars. So here we put them through their paces. And what better place to do it than at the famous Nordschleife? But why is testing in extreme conditions important for design? Well, we have to test the suspension, the steering, the brakes, everything has to work. And that helps us to develop the road cars and also the cars for the racetrack. The Ionic 6 would be a good example of how the racetrack heavily influenced our streamliner shape. And that was all developed here. Talking about the Ionic 6, I really can't wait for the test drive. Sure, let's go. Despite all the curiosity about Hyundai's next stage of development in terms of sustainability, as a racing driver, I first have to get to know the car on an emotional level. The Ionic 6 welcomes me fully charged and ready for a spin. Since Sebastian was involved in the development of the car, there is probably no better person to tell me more about the appearance and background of the Ionic 6. That was a very nice experience. Sebastian, what makes the Ionic 6 particularly efficient in terms of design? It's all about aerodynamics. The car has a super slippery shape, so no line on the car has not a function. Two spoilers in the rear, all to really make the airflow as efficient as possible. How does Hyundai reinforce its commitment to eco-friendly mobility with this new Ionic 6? We follow our vision progress for humanity to become a more sustainable provider for mobility. We follow this every step of the process. For example, on this car, we have floor mats that are made out of econyl, which is basically recycled plastics. Also, the carpeting in general is out of recycled and upcycled fishernets. So we think of every material, how can we source sustainable materials? Now I'm very curious what this sustainable progress means for motorsport. Actually, I think I have somebody who can answer those questions better than I can do. Yeah, thanks, sure. Since you can always look at topics from different angles, I'm excited to get a perspective from someone who has been deeply rooted in motorsport at Hyundai for years. Good to see you at the new Good to see you. I'm out of here. Bye. Ciao. Let's talk about motorsport. Stefan, how important is it for you to increase sustainability in motorsport in general? It's quite important. I mean, as every car company, we're looking into getting a cleaner footprint and motorsport has to take a role as well to not only make the cars cleaner, but also the environment around it. A decisive component of sustainability is electrification. How does this influence decisions in motorsport? It has also the biggest impact. We have uh, electrification already in the World Rally Championship uh, with hybrids and we are from the first day in uh, ETCR where we compete with full electric touring cars since the early days. Why did Hyundai join ETCR? I mean, when we talked about the idea of electric touring cars, we were immediately fascinated by the technology and the platform uh, to have touring cars based on production models which run fully electric. To go one step further, these cars are charged in the service park by fuel cell generators uh, using clean hydrogen. So the whole concept of that championship was something where we said we want to be part of it. Where do you expect motorsport ideally to be in the near future? 
performance cars in the future will be step by step electrified. I mean, one part is the cars itself. The next step is the environment, like how to charge the cars, for example, with uh, hydrogen chargers. And this could work for motorsport to be uh, relevant in the future as well. Stefan, it was a real pleasure and a great experience to, to visit you today. Thank you, Norby. The mobility shift has begun, as has the knowledge that we need to think circular and sustainable on all grounds, equally on the road, in our daily life, as well as in motorsport. It's an exciting journey that we all have to shape together.